Hey everybody, what is going on? Fallout here, back with another God Roll video. This time we are talking about the brand new Black Armory Pulse Rifle, the Blast Furnace. A hard-hitting gun with great range and good team shot potential, it is slowly taking over the PvP meta. Because it's a forge weapon, you can farm them pretty reliably, so why not take a few minutes before you go out into the wild hunting for one to figure out the PvP God Roll. Let's take a look at the weapon itself, a 450 RPM and a member of the aggressive burst family, very similar in performance to the Go Figure. Unlike the Go Figure though, the Blast Furnace has higher base range, stability, and aim assist. We're going to start things off with the Masterwork perk, and I'm hoping this is going to set the tone for the remainder of the video. Your god roll is going to be different depending not only on what perks you like and don't like, but if you play on controller or mouse and keyboard. You wouldn't think that that makes that big of a difference, but both of these input methods want different things in a weapon. If you're an M&K player, you want range. Mouse and keyboard users have little to no use for stability. Recoil is naturally straight and tight, way easier to control. Therefore, if you're on M&K, you are looking for a range masterwork. Better accuracy and a further damage drop-off point. If you use a controller though, you are looking for stability. And don't worry about missing out on range the way an M&K player might have. Yeah, it would be nice to get more range, but the base range of the Blast Furnace is already pretty high. The extra stability is going to help you control the kickback on your gun each time you pull the trigger when using a controller. Everything else is pretty nice to have, but IMO doesn't make the cut. Range masterwork for M&K, stability masterwork for controller. Moving on to the scope, the blast furnace can potentially roll with five. Two of them have a long range scope, one has a medium, and two are short range. Your go-to here is going to be heavily influenced by your personal preference. I don't like fighting from too far away way in PvP with a pulse rifle, so as a rule of thumb, I'm crossing out both long range scopes right away. But again, that's for me. You might like having a long range scope. Again, it depends on your personal preference. Typically in PvP, you want short or medium range scopes on a pulse rifle. The Mayrin RDS is a short range scope which improves your range more than the Ramesson, but also doesn't zoom in too far, which could potentially mess you up in mid to close range combat. I'm going with the Mayrin RDS if I have a choice, but you should be happy with the Ramesson or even the Mayrin RDL medium range scope. Moving on to column two, eight total choices here. Mouse and keyboard players, any guesses on what you're looking for here? Very good. Accurized rounds, a straight plus 10 in range with absolutely no downside. You'd have to be crazy to not want that on your gun if you're on PC. Controller crew, things are a little more dicey for you. You're looking for stability, and you got three options. Tactical mag and flared magwell will both up your stability by five and also help your reload speed. Steady rounds give the biggest bonus of plus 15, but at the cost of five range. Call me crazy, but I'm going with steady rounds here. I know, the penalty to range hurts, but again, the blast furnace has a high base range to begin with. With, you'll be fine. That being said, Tactical Mag and Flared Magwell are fine backup choices because they help your stability a little bit, but they don't hurt your range. Column three, now we're getting into the fun stuff. We got six choices on the table here, and good news, a lot of these perks are actually really high quality. Let's weed out what isn't. Air Assault, increased handling while airborne. Really, with this, Bungie? Yeah, no. Aerial combat and pulse rifles go together like bologna and whipped cream. Hard pass, that's actually kind of it. Everything else in column three ranges from mildly okay to great. Zen Moment is a fine pick for people who play on the controller. If you're on PC, that means nothing to you, so pray that you don't get that if you like to click on people's heads. Quick draw. Drawing your weapon very fast is literally always a good thing, and likewise for snapshot sights. Faster ADS time never hurt anybody. Outlaw, a perk we love and almost always recommend around here, is actually not the winner today. And although you should be very happy if you have Outlaw, the blue ribbon here is Feeding Frenzy, a rare weapon perk. You get a faster reload, but you don't need to trigger a headshot kill to get it. Reloading after any kill with this weapon will give you a quicker reload time beautiful. Column four, here we have the usual winners and the usual losers. Starting with Headseeker. This perk is awful. Headseeker is the friend you have in your group that nobody likes, but yet he always shows up to the party anyway. 
let me guess, too real? My bad. Headseeker only gives you more damage if you start shooting the enemy in the body and then the burst goes up and finishes in the head. It does not continue after that. In order to get the extra damage repeatedly, you have to start every burst by hitting the enemy in the body. And here's the kicker. You know how much extra damage it gives you? A whopping two. Two damage. That's right, it'll take your headshot bullet damage from 27 to 29 in PvP, and from what I've seen, it only works on the very final bullet in the four round burst. What a load of f If you know anybody in the game, anybody at all who likes this perk, please show them the light. Usual loser number two, high impact reserves. There are far, Far better ways to get extra damage out of your weapon other than needing to dig to the bottom half of your magazine. No thank you. Ambitious Assassin. Not bad to have, extra bullets in the mag are cool, but when there's perks that grant you extra weapon damage, what's the point really? Slide Shot is okay. More range, stability, and a partial reload are all fine to have, but as with most primary weapons in Destiny, these perks fall short when compared to what you already know is coming, Rampage and Kill Clip. These two perks cast such a massive shadow over other primary weapon perks, it's crazy. Believe me, I'm actually kind of getting as tired of it as you are, I'm sure. Because we're looking at the PvP god roll, the winner here is Kill Clip. Rampage is great, but remember, as I've mentioned before in other videos, it's a way stronger option in PvE. In PvP, you have to get the Rampage to level 3 to come close to matching the extra damage output granted by Kill Clip, and Kill Clip also lasts longer. It's really no contest. I mean, don't throw away your gun if it has Rampage though, extra damage after a kill is always a good thing. Now I'm sure some of you might might be asking, hey, this weapon can already kill in two bursts if you land every headshot. Why do you even think you might need Rampage or Kill Clip in PvP? Good question, you sassy little thing. You can two burst kill if you land literally every bullet directly in the dome. Be honest though, how many of you Guardians out there have perfect 100% accuracy every PvP game. Yeah, I didn't think so. Your normal damage output with Blast Furnace is 16 per bullet in the body, 27 per bullet in the head. With Rampage level 1, that goes up to 18 per bullet in the body, 29 per bullet in the head. Kill Clip gives you 21 per bullet in the body, 36 per bullet in the head. With only one burst of Kill Clip, where even two bullets connect in the body and the other two connect in the head, you you are doing 114 damage, making it very easy to two burst kill overall even if you're not a perfect marksman. You could even land your second burst with Kill Clip with just one bullet in the head and three in the body, and again, Kill Clip would still be powerful enough to give you the kill. In short, two tapping with Blast Furnace is always doable even if you don't have Rampage or Kill Clip, but the fact of the matter is that Kill Clip makes it way way easier. So, let's review. What is our PvP god roll blast furnace? For MK users, a range masterwork. For controller users, stability. Whichever scope you prefer, but I'm going with the Mayrin RDS short scope. Accurized rounds on mouse and keyboard or steady rounds on controller, although tactical or flared mag would also be fine. Feeding frenzy and Kill Clip. Put it all together and you have a monstrous, hard-hitting pulse rifle that can punch holes in any Guardian at mid to mid-long range. I'm not even kidding, this thing is a team shot monster. I love using hand cannons in PvP, but if I get a long range-ish map, I'm not gonna hesitate in equipping the Blast Furnace. If you don't have one, truly, you are missing out. Go unlock the third forge, grab a weapon frame, and grind it out. You'll thank me later. If you have this weapon and you like it, please tell me about it down in the comment section. If you have a roll on your Blast Furnace that you really like for either PvP, PvE, or what have you, feel free to share Share what you have and why you like it. If you enjoyed today's content, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the like button because it takes maybe one second to do and it really helps the channel grow. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.